On November 20th, students at Iowa State improvised a last-minute event in Carver Hall to view Obama's speech on immigration reform and to show support for the disappearance of 43 students from Ayotzinapa, Mexico. Obama announced that those who move to the U.S. before 2010 will have temporary permission to stay in the U.S. for three years without fear of being deported. What will happen after those three years are up is what many are still questioning. It's great to finally have it, but it's been overdue. Um, it's definitely something that still needs to be worked out. Of course, it's, again, temporary. Um, and his, you know, we don't know what's going to happen in two years. And if he leaves office, what, how is this initiative going to be for the people who have this temporary status? Um, and it's something that needs to happen, that Congress needs to realize. Um, this change has to come sooner or later, and you know whether it's with their consent or not, which is why he's taking initiative with this. Ricardo Corona led a discussion after Obama's speech on how this will affect the nation and shared his thoughts on the 43 missing students from Mexico. Kind of, to our community, it kind of puts fear um, in our mentality, especially we have people, relatives that live back in Mexico, um, but there's other people that if we educate them enough on the subject, they could go all out there and advocate and uh, stand up to the Mexican government. You know? In Ayotzinapa, Mexico, 43 students were kidnapped from a technical school. Students in Mexico have protested the Mexican government and even want President Enrique Peña Nieto to resign. ISU students gathered to show their support by wearing all black in solidarity. This photo has reached more than 3,500 people and has been shared multiple times online. These ISU students and many others plan to advocate for the immigration reform by holding other events throughout the academic school year.